back from them and see what answers they return. Al-Hudud went and later on the Queen of Sheba embraced Islam. The reason was that this bird knew its lord. Some scholars said strange Al-Hudud was more intelligent than than Pharaoh disbelieved. Pharaoh disbelieved when things were well. Therefore, a last minute faith did not help him. Al Hudud, on the other hand, believed and had faith in its Lord. When things were well and that faith benefited him when matters became difficult, Al Hudud said, so that they may worship prostrate before Allah, who brings to light what is hidden. Pharaoh said, I know not that you have a God other than me. He is truly wretched who is less intelligent than al hudud and has less of an understanding than an ant. They have hearts wherewith they understand not. They have eyes wherewith they see not, and they have ears wherewith they hear not the truth. The world of bees is full of wonders that remind us of Allah's care. A tiny bee leaves its hive in order to seek out sustenance. It lands on a good and pure surface and sucks out nectar. It then returns with a liquid that provides remedy for people, always returning to its own hive without losing its way. And your Lord inspires the bee, saying, Take your, take you habitu- habitations in the mountains and in the trees and in what they erect, then eat of all fruits, and follow the ways of your Lord made easy for you. There, there comes forth, forth from their bellies a, a drink of varying color wherein is healing for men. Verily, in this is indeed a sign for people who think. When you read these stories, you should realize that there is a hidden care and protection from Allah and that you should supplicate and pray to Him alone for all of your needs. You should realize that everyone else in this universe is weak and helpless. They also need to worship Allah to ask Him for sustenance, for health and for happiness because He owns everything. O oh, mankind, is it you who stand in need of Allah, but Allah is rich, free of all wants and needs, worthy of all praise. You must have an unshakable faith in Allah, and you should know that all of your supplications and hopes have to be directed to Him and not to weak. Helpless humans, when you truly appreciate your Lord's favors, you will feel the need that the transient being has for the everlasting, the dependence, the dependence of the poor upon the one who is all rich, and the protection sought by the weak in the one who is all powerful. True power, wealth, and everlastingness all belong to Allah alone. If you know all of these things, you must apply your knowledge and worship. Allah sincerely, if you seek forgiveness from Him, He will forgive you. If you ask Him, He will give you. If you ask Him for help, He will help you. And if you, and if you are thankful to Him, He will increase His favors upon you. Be pleased with Allah, along with having faith in the praise. 
I am pleased with Allah as my Lord, with Islam as my religion, and with Muhammad as a messenger. You must also be pleased with Allah's commandments and decrees. When you are selective in your belief in preordainment, your belief is incorrect. Being selective means to be pleased and contented with only those decrees that are compatible with your desires, while complaining against and begrudging those decrees that, so, that go against your desires. Some people would be pleased with their Lord when things were easy, but they would begrudge his de decrees when things ca beca became tough. And Allah said about them, If good befalls him, he is content therewith. But if a trial befalls him, he turns back on his face, reverts back to disbelief after embracing Islam. He loses both this world and the hereafter. The desert Arabs announced their Islam openly, and when they found ease and profit in what was revealed, they would say, this is a good religion. They would then obey commandments and observe their religious duties. But when they found the opposite drought and poverty, for example, they would turn away in disdain, abandoning their religion. The one who practices Islam in this way always expects case ease in fulfilling his personal desires. Whoever is chosen by Allah to worship him and to carry the flag of Islam and then is not pleased with his with this honor deserves a perpetual and eternal term torment. The story of him to one he gave we gave our ayah proves evidences versus lesson signs, revelations, but he threw them away to Satan. They followed him up, and he became of those who went astray. Had Allah known of any good in them, he would indeed have made them listen, and even if he had made them listen, he, they would, would have, would, would have turned away, averse to the truth. Contentment is a path that is followed by people who want to live according to a higher code, a code that is followed by those who are close to Allah.